Good morning, Lancaster, Lancaster Catholic. Catholic. I'm Tom Gonzalez. And I'm Andrew DeBorn. Today is Friday, November 20th, 2015, Day B, Rotation 9-8. Here's what you need to know. Respect Life Club will be busy today organizing all the donations from the Lancaster Catholic Thanksgiving Food Drive. During homerooms this morning, members are asked to bring all food drive boxes to room 208. During your free periods today, Mrs. D'Elia could use your help preparing the boxes for delivery. Writers Anonymous meets today at 305 in room 122. Bring a poem to share. Today is the French Club's annual cheese tasting event in room 25 from 3 to 415. If you want to change up your taste, the cost is $2 or $3 at the door. Don't forget the fall play. Cash on Delivery has performances tonight and tomorrow night at 730. If a movie is in your weekend plans, Thomas Moran has a preview for you. The new James Bond movie, Spectre, again dominated North American movie theaters over the weekend. Despite topping the box office two weeks in a row, critics gave Spectre hard reviews and said it was the worst 007 movie in 30 years. I agree with critics saying that it wasn't half the movie that Skyfall was. Daniel Craig said that Spectre will be his last Bond movie. This weekend kicks off the release of The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Be sure to get out and see it. Justin Bieber just dropped his new album, Purpose. It already broke record sales, and two of his songs made the Billboard Top 5. This holiday season, Fulton Theater is performing Elf. Its performances will be held November 17th through January 3rd. Eight of the showtimes have already been sold out, so be sure to get your tickets soon. I'm Thomas Moran. Want to watch some hoops and get some service hours? Then the St. Leo basketball tournament might be a slam dunk for you. The tournament starts tonight and runs through Sunday. Also this weekend, Off the Streets needs your help sorting furniture and kitchen goods at their warehouse Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. And the Connor Holland Foundation Fair needs help with their indoor fair tonight from 5 to 9 p.m. Sign up on the Good Samaritan website and don't forget to wear clothing with your LCHS logo. Mock Trial meets Monday after school in Mrs. Deming's room. Tell her if you can't make it. The Quiz Bowl team practices Monday from 3 to 4 p.m. in room 215. Freshman basketball tryouts begin Monday in the old gym. Boys from 3 to 5.30 and girls from 5.30 to 7.30. And that's a sure sign that Crusader winter sports season is starting. Here's Joe Lobeck with a look at the week in sports. It was a wild week in sports. In a battle between modern-day David and Goliath, Ronda Rousey was taken down by the challenger, Holly Holm. Holm knocked out Rousey in the second round via a head kick. Rousey came in undefeated at 12-0 and the sport's most popular female star. Rousey took to Instagram to assure her fans that she was all right and plans to take a break for a while, but returned to the octagon. In the NFL, the New York Giants nearly knocked off the undefeated Patriots. Brady and company needed a last-second field goal to edge out the G-Men, 27-26. The Patriots take on the Bills this weekend, while Eli Manning and the Giants take on the Redskins. Meanwhile, Manning's brother Peyton broke Brett Favre's all-time passing record in the Broncos' loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. In that same game, Manning was benched for the first time in his career. It came out later that Manning is suffering from a plantar fasciitis. Manning will sit out this weekend as the Broncos take on the Bears. The college playoff picture was shaken up this weekend. Clemson stays atop the rankings while Baylor fell after losing to Oklahoma. The top four teams are Clemson, Ohio State, Notre Dame, and Alabama. Oklahoma State and Iowa are both strong contenders sitting just outside the top four. The race is sure to heat up as the season draws to the end. Our very own Crusaders kicked off the winter sports season this past Monday. The, winter, the morning show will be doing a winter sports preview. Here are a couple girls basketball players with some insight on the season. Um, well, last year we went 22 and 6, and we won our section, and we maintained our LO League wins. We're at 80 consecutive league wins. So this year we're really hoping to improve on that record, hopefully come out with a league and district title. Um, I want to uh, go win the districts and win the leagues this year and have fun. Good luck to our Lady Crusaders this year. I'm Joe Lobeck. As temperatures drop, 
This winter, the CERT Teen Club is warming things up with their coat drive after Thanksgiving break. And the club meets next Tuesday at 7.30 a.m. in room 217. Speaking of Thanksgiving, we'll end the week with another turkey joke. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Amanda. Why did the turkey cross the road? Why? It was the chicken's day off! <laughs> Have a great weekend, Crusaders! Crusaders.